you know, it's still a respectable lead. I mean, I, you know, 73 with two to go is a good position to be in. Um, and I hate that we gave up all these points tonight. Um, I'm, you know, Sam just lost it inside of me, and I wish he could have waited a little longer to lose it. I saw that he lost it later on in the race, and he can do that from time to time. I just wish he would have waited a little while longer and didn't take me on the process. But um, it's one of those things. I mean, not much we can do about it. We're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, but the guys did a great job to get this car back out on track to pick up a couple more spots. And uh, we'll go to Phoenix and race. And we got two great racetracks for us. Uh, we didn't want this by any means, but we're still in a great position. And we'll go to Phoenix and race. The first report Chad gave me wasn't good. He thought we were going to have to put the car in the truck. The car was so tore up. Uh, so as time went on, uh, I could see their spirits lift, and I knew we'd at least get back out on track. And I started to focus on the things I needed to and quit worrying about the points. That thing is beat up. Um, it is not a fun car to drive up. We, we kept up at the minimum speed and made it. Hats off to Mike uh, and this whole FedEx office camera team. It's just, uh, you know, we um, we had a really good car and just had a horrendous day in the pits. It seemed, you know, we just dropped so many spots on pit road that uh, we just couldn't overcome that track position. And um, you know, I was trying to make something happen, got in the wall, and, um, you know, ended up killing our car. But, you know, the good part about that is I was now able to save fuel because there was no pressure from behind. Um, so, you know, I was able to save fuel, and um, you know, our camera got the, the best fuel mileage it got all day. I don't, I'm not really sure why everybody counts everything out. When it comes right down to performance, uh, you know, you can't, you can't beat those, the, those guys, uh, Jimmy Johnson and those guys. But it's not over yet. Uh, the top six, though, I, you know, I still kind of baffled at why everybody is so preoccupied with first and second. Now, the top six spots are, uh, are being raced for like a, like, like a dogfight. And uh, I got two guys, two champions that knocked me out of championships, breathing down my neck. So uh, the race is still on for all of us. And uh, I, I just want to brag on Alan Gustafson and everybody on the Kellogg's Car Quest Chevrolet. Uh, we were junk yesterday. Uh, fair at the start of the race, halfway through the race, they hit on something, and it was a top five car. And we clawed our way back into the top five with it. I, I can't believe it. It is so much fun to drive their race car. Uh, I think more than anything is a missed opportunity. Uh, you know, we just, uh, I, I'm just terrible at this place. I just am. I don't know what it is. I just don't have, uh, I can qualify. Uh, and the guys gave me a great car on Friday, but I just don't, uh, don't really feel, have the feel for this place. I don't know what it is. Uh, and it just challenged us all day today. We seem to be the best at the beginning of the race, so we made some adjustments, tried to make it better based on what I was telling them, and we just went backwards from there, lost the track position. So it was a frustrating day, kind of a, more of a typical Texas day for us uh, rather than what we had in April. And so it was a missed opportunity when the 48 had trouble. And so I'm, I'm bummed about that, but Steve Latar did a great job getting us to 13. The whole team did, and a uh, great call there at the end. And uh, we'll go to, go to Phoenix and Homestead.